The high-performance car world is a relentless battlefield. Manufacturers constantly push the boundaries of speed, handling and cutting-edge technology in a never-ending quest for dominance. Enter the 2025 Ford Mustang GTD, a car that shatters the lines between a road legal machine and a track weapon. This isn't just another Mustang pumped up on steroids. It's the culmination of Ford's rich racing heritage and cutting-edge engineering expertise, designed to deliver an exhilarating driving experience that pushes the limits of what a street car can be. The GTD story has an intriguing origin. Its birth wasn't driven by a predetermined product plan, but rather a spark of inspiration. When Ford CEO laid eyes on a clay model of the Mustang GT3 race car, he was captivated by its raw aggression and raw performance potential. The idea was irresistible. Transform this competition-focused beast into a street-legal monster, and thus began the journey of the Mustang GTD. While the GTD shares some design elements with its GT3 cousin, it wasn't a simple transformation. The GTD foregoes the naturally aspirated V8, the dog book gearbox, and the lightweight tube frame chassis that optimized the track car for pure speed. Instead, it utilizes a supercharged 5.2 liter V8 engine, a Tremec dual clutch automatic transmission, and the basic unibody platform is shared with the EcoBoost Mustang and the V8 GT, as well as the Dark Horse models. This platform choice allows the GTD to retain some semblance of everyday usability while still offering a thrilling driving experience. However, the GTD's DNA is undeniably linked to the GT3. Production of both vehicles is entrusted to Multimac, a company with a proven track record in building high-performance machines. In many ways, the GTD pushes the envelope even further than the GT3. You see, with GT3 cars, there are numerous regulations and restrictions, where with the GTD, as long as it's street legal, they have free reign. So under the hood of the GTD, beats the heart of a supercharged 5.2 liter V8 engine, an evolution of the unit found in the outgoing Mustang Shelby GT500. But the GTD extracts even more power, estimated to be around 800 horsepower compared to the Shelby 760. To combat the inherent nose heaviness of a front-mounted V8, the GTD employs a transaxle layout, a feature shared with the GT3 race car. This transaxle distributes weight more evenly between the front and rear axles, ensuring balanced handling for aggressive cornering and a more planted feel on the road. The GTD's technological prowess, however, extends far beyond its engine and gearbox setup. A series of innovations elevate its performance to new heights, transforming it into a true driver's machine. You see the rear suspension maintains a one-to-one -one motion ratio between the pushrod and inboard damper ensuring precise communication between wheel movement and suspension adjustments. This translates to optimal control, allowing the driver to feel exactly how the car reacts to every turn and bump. Then, the front suspension ditches the standard Mustang double ball joint struts in favor of unequal length control arms. This seemingly minor change optimizes handling dynamics, allowing for a sharper turn in and a more precise steering feel. Then all four corners of the GTD are equipped with Multimax adaptive spool valve dampers. These electronically controlled dampers offer 16 different bump and rebound settings, allowing the car to adapt to varying road conditions. This translates to a comfortable ride on the highway and exceptional handling on a winding back road, allowing drivers to choose between comfort and performance-oriented settings depending on their needs. Then let's move back to the engine, as it has something which has never been seen before on a road-going Mustang. You see, the GTD utilizes a dry sump oil system with a donut-shaped reservoir occupying the space typically filled by the transmission. This system ensures optimal lubrication even under extreme driving conditions on track, which prevents oil starvation and engine damage when pushing the car to its limits. Oh, and it also has the cool track mode that the GT has, lowering the car by a further 1.6 inches at the push of a button, increasing handling capabilities and looking awesome at the same time. But the relentless pursuit of performance in the GTD comes with a slight trade-off. Um, practicality. Where you would normally find trunk space, you would now find um, some of the car's vital components, including a transmission cooler and an air intake system. This prioritizes performance 
on a track day over everyday usability. However, the GTD retains some usable storage space in the area typically occupied by the rear seats in a standard Mustang. While not ideal for weekend getaways with a lot of luggage, it offers enough room for a backpack, a helmet or other essentials for a track day. Then an available Acroprovic titanium exhaust system promises to deliver an auditory experience that matches the GTD's visual aggression. This high-performance exhaust system is sure to unleash a guttural roar, befitting a car designed to dominate the road and turn heads wherever it goes. The throaty rumble of the engine, especially when paired with the Acroprovic exhaust, is guaranteed to send shivers down the spines of car enthusiasts. to the design of this beast. A massive rear wing is standard equipment, generating significant downforce to keep the car planted at high speeds. This downforce helps to counteract the effects of lift, ensuring optimal grip and stability during hard cornering and high-speed maneuvers. Additionally, hidden front axle flaps deploy and retract to optimize downforce at the front of the car. And let's just be honest, this thing looks like a track car. This is the sickest looking Mustang out there. It looks fast while standing still. Anyways, to end it off, the 2025 Ford Mustang GTD is a culmination of Ford's rich racing history in performance cars and its commitment to pushing the boundaries of automotive engineering. It represents a significant leap forward, not just for the Mustang lineup, but for the entire high-performance car segment. While the future of the internal combustion engine remains uncertain in the face of rising electric vehicle adoption, the GTD stands as a testament to the enduring appeal of an exhilarating driving experience and the raw power of a meticulously crafted gasoline engine. But let me know what you guys think of this awesome new Mustang. I love it, but I will say she's gonna be expensive. With what I have read on the car, it seems that she's gonna cost over $325,000, which isn't cheap. So the question is, is it worth it? Would you buy it? And what did you guys think of the video? Let me know down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, you'll most probably like most of my other stuff. So just go through my channel, see if there's something else you like. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, eh?